We're already three days into the Fearless Guardian second phase and things are really hot and heavy. I got to spend the last two days with the medics and I'm going to show you a little bit of this awesome training that they're getting to do with the Ministry of Defense Ukrainian soldiers. Uh, my task here as a primary instructor is to help facilitate and train um, any medical skills that we have and sharing them with our Ukrainian counterparts uh, to prepare them and help uh, benefit augment their uh, medical capabilities. So uh, the way we've been teaching out here, we have uh, we, we set up in a two-day process. Uh, the first day is strictly for lecture and theory, uh, where we sit down in the classroom, we discuss the slideshow presentation, uh, discussing our medical procedures and uh, our medical assessments. Uh, we go over the different interventions we use, uh, the different ways to improvise those set, uh, certain interventions. Uh, we do some hands-on uh, in the classroom there to kind of get them a uh, good feeling for how the interventions actually work. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed at how, how very quickly they're, they're picking it up. I, I do understand that sometimes it can be uh, difficult uh, b between translating and make sure the information is relayed, but they're very eager to learn. Um, they're very motivated. They have a lot of experience, which is good. Uh, one thing I've, no I've learned here uh, is I didn't just come here to, to teach. I'm also here to learn as well. They have a lot of experience, uh, a lot of experience that I'm, I'm getting from them, and then we are, in, ben in turn, sharing it with them. So together we, we're, we're making both us and the Ukrainians uh, a lot stronger when it comes to medical. Uh, the second day, as you can see out here, we uh, actually execute our practical exam, our practical exercise, where we kind of culminate everything that they've learned into one, uh, one lane, where they go out as a squad, where they will go ahead, treat casualties together as a team, remembering the fundamentals when they do their patrols, and then evacing and the considerations for a follow-on of uh, evacuation care. I think it's I think it's a great opportunity, not just for them, but for us as well. Um, I enjoy working with our allies. Uh, it benefits me. I learn a lot. I learn their procedures, their techniques. A lot of things I'm taking back with myself to help teach my guys back in uh, back in home station. So it's been a great opportunity here. Um, I'm very happy for the opportunity to be here and, and teach. And I'm glad that these guys have accepted us in and allowed us to help them. And, and in turn, they help us.